dog on a jet ski isn't something you see every day. Ollie and his dad, Michael, are about to be speeding up the Ohio River and catching some waves all for a good dog cause. The pup and his other parent, Cammie Hummel, stop by the studio to say hi before Ollie takes off on his latest adventure. And I have to tell you, he has brought so much joy to the KDK <laughs> newsroom today. We have loved having him here. So tell us about Ollie's river adventure. How, how was this all started? Well, we have put him on a jet ski at a very young age <laughs> and he loved it. And something that Michael would do on his spare time, he would go around and clean up. We are in the Tampa St. Pete area. So he would go to like mangroves and beaches, the places people don't go to and clean up trash. Ollie would go with him. And one day I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm watching these SPCA commercials and I'm like, we can be doing something more. Let's yeah. make a difference. We love the environment, but we also want to help pups yeah. and kittens. I'm moving yes. this plant because I want to be able to see his face while you're talking too. <laughs> and so what brings you here to the Pittsburgh area specifically? Okay, well, I have ties to Pittsburgh, but Michael did the same trip 41 years ago. Wow. Raising money for muscular dystrophy before people even knew what a jet ski was. And it was a stand up jet ski on top of that. <laughs> and he cruised down the river to, to um, you know, make money and raise money for the charity. Ollie, are you so happy to be here? So you yes. are the cutest thing I have ever seen. You are so fun. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, and so this starts off with the first pitch of the Pirates game, too. It's just great. Yeah, they're going to do a special ceremony. We're going to hang out at the game and do some photographs and meet some people. <laughs> and we actually have the ball that Michael, care, that Michael threw in at both the Reds and the Pittsburgh games 41 years ago. And wow. it's going to go down the river with us as well. And so why this all full circle for, for Michael, mm -hmm. who yes. can't be here today, but he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. Um, we had some logistics issues with getting the jet ski here, but it finally arrived oh, a couple good. hours ago. So he is on his way to Pittsburgh now. That's amazing. Yes. So this trip was really special for him and really yes. has helped momentum, give some momentum to this. Yes, yes. And we are partnering with Osenko while we go down the river to organize cleanup crews as we stop. And this is also to help local shelters too. Do you yes. guys want to do a lot of outreach for that? Yes, yes, we do have an event scheduled tomorrow at Salty Paws and there will be some rescues joining us and it's going to be a bone voyage party <laughs> for the pups <laughs> and um, we can they can join us. There will be um, opportunity to adopt as well as they want to donate or just partake in the festivities. Oh gosh, I can't get enough of your cute little <laughs> face. It is so, he's just, how do you keep him safe when you're on the jet ski? Well, first of all, we have, <laughs> we have the, um, this is the, the most important thing, his life vest. Yeah. And then he is tethered to Michael for the trip. He will have his own little bed. He Aww. will have some shade if he needs it. But here, it's just the weather's so pleasant. We're, and look at this. Yes, he will be in heaven. Does he get wind. excited when he sees the jet ski? Yes. Look at his ears flapping in the wind. <laughs> yeah, that's the Ollie Cam footage. And tell me more about the goals here. I mean, there's really this cleanup mm -hmm. effort. It's, it, there, are, there are multiple levels to this. Yes. Um, first and foremost, the goal is to raise $5 million. That's the end game. Yeah. Um, starting with this project. We have another one in the works that we will be starting to get the gears in motion when we get back. Um, and then we want to raise the awareness for 10,000 adoptions. And then even as more, as more importantly, to volunteer, 10,000 volunteers, because shelters do need that help. They need so much help. Yes. Yeah. And there's, you know, there's no, the no kill Does shelter. Come to, come oh, do you want to, you want to come go? on, go ahead. No, no, go come ahead. On. Go ahead. Come on, Ollie. No, no, you can't take off. You just um, want to take off. There are no-kill shelters. A lot of people <laughs> don't realize that. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's going to take off. Where are you going, so, Ollie? Where are you going? You're going to get a tour of the whole studio now. Okay, come, come here. <laughs> <laughs> what a cutie. He's gone. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> We're not getting him back. Um, so the no-kill shelters are one thing. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people, I don't think that they realize when they drop a dog <laughs> off and surrender. Come here, Betty. Come here. So you they see drop. The shark fin just bobbing. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. His face Nothing like live TV. I love it. 
<laughs> well, you know, and this is so wonderful. Yeah. Of, you know, everything we're talking about here. So I think our viewers at home, after seeing Ollie <laughs> and how adorable he is, they want to know how they can help. So how can our viewers help? Um, you can go to our website. Um, we have a how you can help on ollythedogooddoc.com. But, you know, we have a sponsor uh, and we're partnered with bestfriends.org, who their goal is to have no kill everything no kill by 2025 but you can google your local shelter as well make sure it's a no kill um and <laughs> <laughs> but that's where we're that's where we want it to be more grassroots but you know bestfriends.org they have been in the business for 35 years they started out as a sanctuary in utah well thank you so much cammy for coming and and thank you ollie you have brightened our day today Aww. Say thank you. He's ready for a nap. A <laughs> reminder, you can meet Ollie tomorrow at the Salty Paws Doggy Bar and Bakery from 11 a.m. to 2. His journey kicks off Sunday at Point State Park. He'll be stopping at local marinas along the way to say hi to his fans. We have a list of local no-kill shelters that you can donate to on our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.